Well, hello there, guys. This is Stephanie in the Soul Sister Monarch channel. How are you doing? Okay, fire signs. Sorry, I thought I heard something. That was weird. That was really weird. I thought I heard my son. He's not home yet. <laughs> it's the dogs. All right. So, Aries Leo Sag. Somebody's been having some visions, and it's been kind of, I think, freaking someone out. Ooh, yeah. So, you have a chance for some new beginnings. Some of you haven't been feeling very good. There's a chance to restore your health. Some of you, I told you that you're having visions. You're going through some stuff. That's the Council of Light is trying to work with you, okay? There's higher beings because you went through an awakening, okay? Um, somebody's been back down on their knees begging for mercy, mercy, mercy me. Well, there's a connection, see? This has to do with those visions, too. Somebody's going to need trust and faith. Something coming. Hmm, we got purification. <gasps> oh, so we got, a, we got a dirty dog here. A loosey-goosey. Hmm. All right. See this? <laughs> Somebody bit off the piece they shouldn't have. This is temptation, desire, ecstasy. There's change now. Oh, yeah. People are not happy above. Somebody's going to have to put respect on someone's name. Yeah, somebody's going to be begging, begging. And we know that because the first card here. Look. Oh, okay. Well, this makes more sense, too. Because this was the very, when I was shuffling, the very first card that came out was this. Ten of Wands. Ugh. Yeah. See all those people involved? Ten. Oh, there, yeah. Yeah. It's up in flames. It's up in smoke. Up in smoke. Up in flames. Somebody's whole, no, nah, there's multiple people's foundations coming down. Look at him. He's got his tail over his head. He's handling his head. He's like, oh, my God. Yeah. Woo. That's, it's like an explosion. Yeah, somebody did something that they regret. Mm-hmm. Devotion, sexuality here, impurity. I said, dirty dog, loosey goosey. Okay, so let's take a spin. Let's see what we got. Where are you guys at in your chart? Let's, let's see where are you guys at in your chart. North node. Well, that's good. We love to hear that. Okay. Hold on. I just noticed. One sec. Sorry. Okay. North node. North node. We like that. What else do we got? However, sustainability is in reverse in your sixth house. We got Libra energy here. So, you guys be dealing with the Libra or you're in your heavy working. You've got Libra all over in your chart. You could have Libra in your sixth house. Okay. But you're working with Jupiter here. Abundance. Mm -hmm. This is about your foundation too. This one you're working with Jupiter too. 
stigma. Oh, so the aspect you're working with is strength. So we got heavy Leo energy here. And Neptune energy. Mm, vision, but sun in reverse. I mean, what is going on? Communication and community in reverse. Oh, my God. Okay. All right, guys. Woo! You just have to make things confusing, fire signs, right? <clears throat> I feel a lot of um, tension all of a sudden in my back. Like right in the middle of my back. Kind of underneath my shoulder blades in the middle of my back. So some that's that's all about when you get that stress though. That's about your foundation. That's about f feeling like you're carrying too, too many burdens. Too much is, uh, there's too much to handle. You're overwhelmed. This just doesn't want to stay. There. Sorry. Um, It's about, bam, bam, no, you can't go outside right now. Come up here. Come on. Come with Yaya. Um, when you're, <sighs> I, the, the energy, it, the, I mean, so anyways, that feeling in, in my back I'm having, whoever this is, it's feeling like their foundation's crumbling, coming down. They can't carry this load. They're overwhelmed. They're burdened. This is too much, too much. And then there's a side of you because you're in this Neptune energy too. This Neptune energy can be kind of prickly. <laughs> I mean, icy, prickly, cold. Um, and six, I mean, you're definitely, something is really just eating at you. But it has to do with your foundation. It has to do with money, okay? Because that, that place in your back and the spot where I'm feeling this, it's, it's, yeah, you're just, I think you feel like you're carrying the load and no one's helping you, okay? Um, you could maybe be de dealing with a Pisces maybe too. I mean, Neptune is, Pisces rules over Neptune. Um, but this, 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 per this person I'm picking up here, they're, they're icy, they're prickly, um, this person, they're acting out of their subconscious, okay? They're not being practical. This person, their day-to-day -day life is gritty. It's rough. It's tough. They're having issues. It puts them in their emotions, in their head. Or this could be you guys. Because you got this Neptune energy. You got Mars. And I saw Mars. Where'd Mars go? Where'd Mars go? I swear Mars came out. And we were shuffling. North node. I mean, we love this. You're north node. So some of you have stepped into your purpose. Some of you have not. Okay? I told but this could be a Leo that you're dealing with. Besides you being a Leo. So you, <laughs> there could be one of you here that's a Leo and you're de dealing with a karmic Leo, okay? For that's, that's for somebody out here. There's a Sagittarius in reverse here too. Um, and they're losing everything, okay? There's, a, there's one Leo here that's standing dignified. They're standing um, loyal to their belief system. They're finding balance. Their vision is put them... In their north node, okay. Communication bandit, no, somebody wants to talk, but I also feel like somebody feels like they can't. Something in the community. So there's a group of people that have come together to go up against somebody. And it could be this Libra because this Libra's upright. There's a Leo in reverse here. I told you there's a Sagittarius I picked up on. Hmm. So I don't know, guys. Put it where it's supposed to go. Okay. Um, but when you're wor working with this Neptune energy, all of you, um, fire signs, um, Neptune energy helps you also invoke your uh, intuition and imagination together. So it's upright. So that's good. That's good. Okay. 
I'm going to have to be careful though because you can have you can blur the boundaries between the two okay what you're doing especially when you're trying to create growth with new things going on or projects you're trying to manifest uh, be careful that you don't get in that uh, mindset of believing what you want and believing what is the reality of it okay because Neptune can trick you that way and some of you I said is having visions and so Maybe these visions, you're not clear on these visions, so you're trying to convince yourself of that. Be very careful. The good thing, though, you do have Jupiter energy here, okay? So, this is, I mean, about your abundance, your prosperity. It's about your, um, it's about change, though, okay? Because we've got 23 here. You break that up into five. That's all about changes. you got four here over the center. This is your foundations. Um, this is stability, Some of you can be partnering up with a couple people, okay? And, you know, you break this down, it's one. It's new beginnings no matter what. But you got to be careful because you got the sun in reverse, okay? And still, there's some people that came up against I, I this Libra. I read it here, and they gathered together in a community, and it's, it's in reverse. People are going to pay for this. There's communication, all kinds of talk going on about this. There's also change because of this. The community being found out. Okay? There's also two people here that, because uh, this also, this third house, this communication too. Communication, this is about um, partnerships. This is about romantic love. This could be about family, uh, business deals, things like that. But this is up. This is good because this is upright communication. So finally, whatever's going on here, there must be some honest communication going on. Okay, and um, this is the, one of the aspects you're working with right now. Okay, this is strength. So we definitely have, some of you are in your empress and your um, emperor energy. They're upright. The sixth house here, though, about sustainability. This concerns me because this is in reverse. So, some of you are, are ah, you got karma. You created karma. So, your sustainability is in reverse. The wheel's in reverse. The wheel of fortune's in reverse, okay? Some of you, though, that are upright, you got the prosperity, you're in your north node, you also got balance, okay? But there's justice coming here for somebody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's justice definitely coming here for somebody. So, your 11th house is in reverse, fire signs, and that's about the community. So, and that, and also, when you're working with this 11th house, this is partnerships in the reverse, um, it could be propositions, promotions. And it also can be um, like people coming together in a community to gang up on somebody and it's no longer, it won't happen anymore because it's in the reverse. So it's been exposed. So that's for some of you fire signs and some of you, because of this, of course, you're going to lose your sustainability, right? So, and... You won't have happy times. You're losing. You got the sun in reverse. And so this is source too. This card. This is your life force energy. Okay. So you're draining your own life force off. Whatever you've done here. And come against whomever. But also when the community is in reverse. You have a life purpose. So whoever I'm just talking about here. You're refusing to step into it. You're rejecting it. You're like I don't want to do this. I'm not going to do it. You're going against the grain. You're like. It's like you know. Like a dog, and you're trying to you're you're trying to get them to go the direction you want. And think of a dog just sitting their butt down on the ground, and you're pulling on their leash, and they're ah, and you're just dragging them. Okay, that's that spirit. So, all right, fire signs. Okay, so hmm, this makes more sense now because now we got this here. Let's flip. What do we got here? We got a queen of cups. Queen of Swords. Oh, here's that community in reverse again. Mm-hmm. Somebody's been watching this whole thing go down. 
Yeah, now everybody's got to walk away. There's no more choices in this matter. Yeah. Somebody's crying over spilled milk now. Hot in hermit mode. Holding on tight to whatever resources they have left. Huh. Somebody, they wanted the Ten of Cups. There's somebody they want the Ten of Cups with. This Queen of Swords, the Queen of uh, Cups. Hmm. Or this is two people someone's in love with. Now they're broken hearted. They're crying over spilled milk. They're like, oh my God, what I do? I need to apologize. Yeah, I made a bad deal and I put money before love. Oh. <laughs> I'm serious. There's judgment. What's the next? Ah, Knight of Wands in reverse. Now that's not good. Ooh, he gave himself a tower. No strength. Leo energy in reverse. Ah, it's a full circle. This story it just came right back around. I kid you not. Now lost opportunities. No more. Nope. 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 All right. So, ah, uh, this makes more sense now. All right. So. A bunch of people partnered together. That's where we got the community in, in reverse here. Someone made a deal with someone's family. So this is probably like the head, the matriarch of some family here. Someone decided to come rolling on in and let's make a deal. Let's lead this person to. I keep hearing their demise, but spiderweb, okay? Whoever this person is, they're highly arrogant. They think highly of themselves. This person has a tendency to like beautiful things, which there's nothing wrong with that. But this, this person I'm picking up on, that's this store here, this woman that wants to create this spider web for whoever this is. She has a tendency to be materialistic, okay? And to view people in a way of what you have is what determines your worth rather than who you are inside the person you are determines your worth okay so that's not good energy to have um that's a very shallow way of looking at people and but that's who this person is so that's how they feel about those kinds of things <clears throat> Somebody wants freedom from this. Somebody's fate. They were. Oh. Well, somebody pushed boundaries that they shouldn't have. They went too far with something. This just keeps happening in the collective over and over. People just keep going too far. Okay. This goes back. This is someone's parent. This this woman is somebody's parent. It's a feminine energy. Because you got milk here. Milk's about nourishment. Milk's about nostalgia. It's about parents. Relationships with parents. Okay? That's what that represents. Somebody wants freedom from this person. And this person wants to be in charge of somebody's fate. So this is like a parent that wants to... Oh, God. I know this situation all too well. So someone's got their walls up. Like, no, I don't think so. No. All right, collective. So now we're going to go back here because this story, I am not kidding you. I, as it unfolded, this was a giant circle. So we're going to go back. Okay. Because this is a circle. This just goes to prove when people go do really shitty, shitty things. And they, they, the, <clears throat> sometimes the universe will give you a very large circle. Okay. A very large circle large large circle so you can go way far out with all the lies way far out with all the fairy tales way far out with the manipulation way far out with all the setup energy whatever you know it all whatever and and because these people continue to do this and don't ever stop each time the universe gets them a little bit their circle gets a little bit bigger. 
So eventually this circle gets so big and when it finally comes around, all of these attachments, this is energy, okay? It's energy attachments. They're negative. They finally make their way around and they've built up forever. You know, a bunch of them fall off like debris floating out there. They cling on to other things. But the, the more this has gone on for however long and wound its way up and these people, have, or you have felt like these people have gotten away with this. They feel for sure like they got away with this. Well, what ends up happening is it makes that final full circle and everything implodes. It's like, bam! It is. Okay? This makes more sense now, these cards right here. Oh my God. Wow. Okay. So, these people, you know, build that we will come. They built this. They built a story based on lies. They built a scenario and narrative around somebody that was total bullshit. And a bunch of people bought into it, didn't think anything of it, just got right on board because these people are used to doing this to this person. They've done this so much in the past. Whoever you are, you adapted to this over time, probably from when you were a child because it's just, it was what it was. But then when you became an adult, you rebelled against this with everybody. And then when you got older, it took you a long time, but you finally set yourself completely free. So they built this narrative around you since basically you were a child. I understand this fully. And this narrative was so that down the road one day, if you left the family unit, right? They would have built this storyline that's had years and years and years built around it. And all these people, right, jumped on board happily. A lot of this went on behind your back. You sensed it, knew it, you just blew it off, right? But then over time, it started to wear on you. It started to affect you. Finally, you're like, I'm jumping out of this hamster wheel. This is going to be hard. I'm going to have to say goodbye to some people. that, that It's literally going to rip me apart. But I want my peace and sanity. And it doesn't matter. They all deem me to be crazy and nuts and whatever. And they don't relate to me. What am I doing here? I'm not appreciated. I'm really not welcome. I'm kind of like the family. Um, you, you know, like when they say take one for the team. That's who you were for this family. Then when you left, they're like, wait, wait, we need someone to blame everything on. Oh, my God, we need a sacrifice, a sacrificial lamb in this family. What are you doing? No, 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 no. We need to get her real him, real her back in. No, 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 no. Where do you think you're going? And you grew up around gaslighting, narcissism, just like me, manipulation. These people knew how to keep you in line by turning everything and twisting it and making you feel guilty. And somehow they're the victim. And you're the one that they were victimizing. You're like, what the hell? Right? So they built this. False narrative. It took a long time. And it looked really good to a lot of people. Okay? They wanted you here in the ghost lands. Basically non-existent. Kind of casting you away from everyone. You know, they'll reel you in when they need someone to make fun of or someone to blame something on or, or to get you to do things that no one else wants to do, right? I'm serious. Well, look what they did. Yep. We have community in reverse. Everybody's going to go down. I don't know where this came from. Is your downtown Molly Brown? I don't know. <laughs> They created this shit storm. You didn't. They did. And they were trying to trap you in this. They trapped themselves in this and a whole lot of other people that didn't give two shits at the time. But, oh, they're giving a shit now. Oh, yeah. These people are freaking out. Look at this. This is toxic energy. This is angry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this doesn't look so good anymore, does it? Look at that. Don't look so good anymore. 
Nope. All right, so now we can go back here, okay? Oh, wait, we got more cards under here. I just noticed these are for the end. All right, this is going to even make some more sense because these came out, and the, this was the first card to come out, and these were the next four. But I just let the cards come out falling. I just go back. We put it together. It's a puzzle. Uh, my dad's here too, so yeah, this is serious. So, these people thought that they were going to get away with this. They're going to jump in their water Uber and just sell away and see your sister, see your brother. Good luck with your bad self, right? No. Mm -mm. No. It's caused a lot of fights. A lot of fights. And they didn't win. No. No. A lot of air sign energy here, guys. A lot. There was a lot of swords thrown. There was a lot of people backstabbed. There was a lot of people hurt. Literally, I don't know. Maybe someone tried to set someone on fire or somebody's house on fire. Some was somebody tried to set something on fire. I keep hearing burn down a house. <gasps> Insurance policy money, huh? I just heard, burn the bitch down. Okay, I don't want to tap any more in. Let's move on. Okay, well, someone's definitely, we got broken hearts all over the place here, man. I mean, look at this. You know, we got broken hearts. And we know the back story of all this is based on a lot of lust, sexual desire, people getting out of control. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not even gonna bring those cards back out. You know what it is. It's your story. It's not mine. Dun dun dun. I don't know. This is anyway. Dun dun dun. No forward movement. Crash and burn, I keep hearing. Crash and burn. I, I'm hearing I'm hearing a car hit something and glass you know the sound of glass like like yeah, so that's for someone else. I just heard getaway car. Wow. Just heard it again. Burn that bitch down. I don't know, guys. I, I anyway, anyways. So this is. Let's move on. So we're gonna go back here. Queen of Cups. She's upright. Queen of Swords. She's upright. Now here's the community that came together. These people were paid to do things. Lots of different things. There's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Someone thought they had everybody fooled that was in charge of this. This is a fire sign that thought that they had the this the cat in the bag. Mm-hmm. For some of you, came up against the um, Scorpio, a water sign energy. Scorpio specific here, sorry. For some of you, a uh, Libra. We already saw that because there's an upright Libra. So for sure. <laughs> Some of you, this could be a Scorpio Leo Cusper. I mean, not Leo. There's no such thing as Scorpio and Leo Cusper. Sorry. A Scorpio Libra Cusper and possibly a Libra Virgo Cusper and a Leo Cancer Cusper. Okay. Sorry. Spirit wanted me to clear that one up. There's a Virgo for out here for somebody too. That would be a masculine energy and an Aries. Uh, feminine and Aries masculine as well. So anyway, put it where it goes. Don't get caught up on the signs. Get more caught up on the energies, guys, because you're not always working in your sun sign. Okay? Hmm. All right. 
So remember, the community came up against these people here. They all got together. They worked on this. This is pure greed. Greed. These are all greedy bastards. These are people that didn't even think about this. They, they saw dollar signs. That's it. Yep. Clout. Whatever. Now everybody wants to walk away. Everybody's like, oh, no. We're going to go down for this? Oh, no, 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 no. We're not going down for this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. So uh, I can hear people fighting amongst each other. I can hear people fighting with their spouses about each other that now they're away, like, there's been little secret meetings going on. These people have little secret stupid group chats that they think nobody knows about. They'll meet up and sit in their cars because they're so damn paranoid now that people know what's going on. Well, they've known for a lot longer than you guys ever caught on. Um, four of Cups. <laughs> this is like, what have I done? What have I done? I didn't pick the right one. What have I done? What have I done? I did not pick the right one. This is not going to end well. I said a Virgo. Remember? Virgo. Um, but this is... Everybody... Like I said, everybody wants to get away from this walk away. They can't. They all want to hide. Go into hermit mode here. Now, some of you did go into hermit mode that were a part of this. But this... You weren't the bad part of this story, okay? And you couldn't figure out what was going on because you were having the hardest time believing some of these people you were getting red flags from. Your intuition was going off. Your body sensors were going nuts. But you were talking yourself out of this. Remember, we talked about that in the beginning. Okay, so now this aligns up more. So, you went inward in hermit mode here. And the light went on and you're like, I'll be damned. Wow. These people really come up against me? These people really want to do this to me? Yeah. Four pentacles. Yep, they're all holding on to air. They are, oh, they got one line. Oh, we got to hold on. We got to hold on to our lies. We got to hold on or we're all going to lose our money. Oh, my God. The lies, the secrets. We were promised the Ten of Cups. What's happening? We were told we were going to have the Ten of Cups. And there's at least ten of them involved in this for sure. Yeah. Now they're all going, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. It's King of Swords, Queen of Swords energy here that is very distraught and upset with the decision they made. Because now they know, just like the fire sign energy here. Woo! We dragged a lot of people to hell with us. Yep. We dragged a lot of people to hell with us. And everybody's going to have to pay. Literally. Reflecting. Three of Pentacles. Look what we did. We got together. We teamed up to go up against this person. And we put money before love, money before loyalty. Money before integrity, dignity. I could go on. No point. Yeah, judgment's going to be called now on everybody. Higher-ups are pissed. Whoa. So now we got the playboy in reverse. So now, mm, story comes more together now, doesn't it? This is someone that likes to step out. They're very immature. This person has something happen to them when they were a child. They stopped. Whenever that trauma or abuse hit, they stopped growing. Mentally, emotionally. This person thinks love is through sex. And they also use sex to control people and to get addicted to them, to bind them. Yeah, this is messed up. <clears throat> oh, boy. Yep. This person created tower for all involved. Definitely a fire sign here. This is karmic. Very, very karmic. This person, they they don't know how to communicate. It's just lustful energy. This person is probably very rough in bed with you. They're um, 
this person, very hot and cold type of person. This person likes to gaslight people. This person will ghost you for a while. And then they go off to the, you know, the next flavor of the hour. Um, but they'll, they'll lie and make something up and tell you they're doing something completely different. And then if you were to address that with this person or to question them, they'll get very defensive. And turn it into, oh, you don't trust me. You don't believe me where I'm at. I can't believe you would do that. I mean, I was out slaying away for you. You know? Yeah. This person's very hot-tempered, whoever this person is. Very hot-tempered. Okay? Definitely a fire sign energy in reverse. Has a lot of water. This person has a lot of water in their chart. So when this person gets upset... Their emotions, they, I mean, they throw up everything on you. Their whole life, everything. You name it. I mean, you're like standing there going, oh, what, what, what just happened? It's like the blur, you know? This person probably, um, spirit, so I mean, this person likes fireball. The alcohol. Yeah, I said there's a fire sign. Leo in reverse. This person has lost all their strength. This person burns through more energy being mad, angry, upset. I mean, this person's like up and down with their emotions. This person's aggressive. And, th and this person, they, they go up high and then they come down and they crash. This person could possibly have like a chemical imbalance. Um, <laughs> yep. I'm trying to come back for another, you know... We can do it, guys. Come on, guys. We can do this. And they're all going, are you serious? Do you not understand what's going on around us? Do you not see what's happening? These are dominoes. Like, really? Now people are seeing, hmm, this feminine energy went up against someone in her own family. We're not even family. And some of us are, but we're not like family family to this person like the person they're going up against huh you really believe we saw what she did to that person you actually believe she won't do the same to us if she doesn't get her way yeah yep page of pentacles in reserve re 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 reverse they wanted to have one last try collective come at it again let's do it again Let's, let, let's go. I heard, let's go, bitches. Let's go. These people are, they're, they're not moving. They're looking, I can see them looking at this person and going, no, not happening. You can if you want. I'm not getting involved anymore. These people are scared. They know they're in trouble. Oh, they came up against the shaman. See, do you see this full circle that happened? That was a full circle. So, Queen of Swords, this Queen of Cups started with her, end with them. Started with the those, and we end there. So this is what everybody thought that they needed to come up against. This is the target. Where's the rest of that deck? The shaman injustice. You people, I mean, I, people are fucked. Wow. We'll double on the Libra. There's probably an empress too. Yeah, the whole crew's going down. And these are toxic people. Toxic. It's exposed. It's out in the open. People are telling on each other. Some of you don't even know that some of you have already been brought in and questioned and the others haven't even told each other. Hmm. You might want to quit being around each other, some of you, because some of you might. Yeah. Okay. Spirit says don't tell anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is coming apart. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, these people 
thought they were going to have victory. No such thing. I don't know if you guys have gone to court already. If not, you're going back. Or if you've got, yeah. Yeah. There's a Gemini partnered up with this uh, Queen of Wands energy. Aries, Leo, Sag. Now everybody wants to hide. They're all guarded. Like, not me. I didn't do it. Uh-uh. She did. They thought they were going to have victory. All their secrets are out in the open. Everybody knows they partnered up together. And they were selling lemonade. And there was no lemonade stand. There was no lemonade either. But they were selling it. These people sell ice cubes to Eskimos. Okay? Some of them, they've gone to court. And they're refusing to do what the judge ruled. But Spirit is stepping in and creating havoc and chaos for the decisions and the choices these people made some of these people collective are so embarrassed of what has happened they can't face you they would like to talk to you i get the feeling you probably don't care um i just heard you just want what's yours i understand that fully my family's got some some of my stuff it's it's like just, it's my stuff i gave it to my mother to keep because it was mine and I was going to move and I didn't want anything to happen to these, these two specific items. One of them, she took it, turned it into two, gave one of them away to someone else and still won't give me the... It, it, that is the, the hardest one for me because it's a family heirloom. Well, they both are. And the other one, she claims she gave it away to somebody, which are... Anyway, so some of you have had that happen. Some of you, like myself, there's a war with your family because... Um, I'll use myself as an example, right? So, like, my signature was signed on documents I never signed. I was taken out of um, a trust. I was taken off all kinds of things. But my, my dad, my mom, and my brother and I all knew how everything was supposed to go. But you got to know my family. My dad's gone now, so they're the punishers. So, they couldn't wait for that opportunity. Uh, so maybe this has happened in your family. And so everything that was written down is supposed to be a specific way. It got changed. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of people that got involved in this, this whole scenario. And like I was talking in the beginning about this narrative. This goes back to, okay, this is why Spirit Time we talk about this. So it, about this narrative that was brought um, to light about you. It's very sick and twisted. Someone's mother here, because we have her. She's a very arrogant woman. She She's Queen Bee Man, and she, that's how she wants to be seen. And so this narrative was created about you. People bought into it. Happened for most of your life. You you checked out of it. You're like, I'm out. Peace out. I did my time. I'm gone. I, I'm going to take... I'm, I'm taking a knee. <laughs> you know, this is permanent, though. I'm tapping out. I'm never coming back. And this isn't working anymore because they went too far. Like my family. It could it just went like me. I'd have walk, I, I walked away. I'm just like, you know what? We all know what, what was what was supposed to be and what you guys did. And I and my mom she wouldn't stop about because oh, like she remodeled the house after my dad died. And when and the house was always supposed to go to me because I'm the oldest sibling. And of course, you know, that's when she would pass away. And then I would have to buy my brother out because that's the right thing to do and I would always do it that way I would never screw him over like I've been screwed over and so but somehow that's all changed without without my knowledge too yeah that, that was all changed so maybe that had happened too but the, the point being is it's a, it's another thing that she made me do all these things to get rid of my house and things I had to do which what they ended up Forcing me to sell it out and not let me be a part of it. I shouldn't even have to be put through hell and had to have remodeled it. But she wanted to put me through all that. She enjoyed every bit of it. And so in doing that, it's, it's another way of breaking you down as a person. It's all mental, okay? It's, I mean, very evil, smart people do this. It's the highest form of narcissism. It's kind of psychopathic, you know, as well. Sociopath. I mean, it's not good. Not good, not good, not good. Because it's premeditating to 
take a person from when they're a child and create a narrative and beat them down to actually change them. I mean, it, it's anyway, you've had something similar to this go on in your life. And like, and then, so she, you, we sell your house, we'll sell your house. And then mine's next. And then we're going to remodel mine because one day when I'm not here, it'll be yours. So we're going to go out and we're going to pick out everything together. And you and I are going to make the decisions how it's going to be because one day it's going to be yours. But see, it was manipulation. Manipulation. So something here happened to you similar to me along those lines. Okay? Something. You you could have, you know, your dad could have left you certain specific items and, and people will let you have them. But I wasn't allowed nothing to my dad. My dad's basically... Wait, I got his driver's license. Oh, it's not in here. It's in my other room. I have his Peter the Pan hat. And I have his Smokey the Bandit Bear. I used to have his ukulele. But I was dumb enough to give it to my brother when I had to move in with him for a while. I don't I don't know. It was, anyways, he tried to tell me it was his. I'm like, no, this was dad's. It was never yours. You weren't even born during that time. And we have a picture of dad with it, sitting on the friggin' fireplace. It was never yours. It was given to me. And I'm, so anyways, I wanted it back when I moved out because he had, he got everything of my dad. Everything. Didn't matter. He got it. And I want, and I wanted that back. And anyways, that's another thing he won't give me back. So I don't know. I got a fountain at my mom's house. It's very expensive. I can't have, a, I haven't been able to take it to where I'm living because I am, um, this is not my permanent home. You know, I'm renting till I get where I want to go. And. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's if that's gone. I wouldn't be surprised if half my stuff that's at our house from when I was a child that I've asked to keep there, she's given that away. Who knows? But whatever has happened to you, similar to me. Sorry, I'm jumping around because that spirit wants me to share this because whoever you are, we have similar stories. But anyways, the point is, I felt... If my mom wanted everything and didn't want to ever share any of it, I was okay with that because she was my dad's wife. She was married to my dad, right? But then your sibling should have to do that as well. So if your sibling is not willing to do that, then why should you? Because you were, you were ever just as much that parent that passed away, their child. In fact, in my situation, I'm the oldest. But seven years. And everybody knew my dad loved me. Even though people tried to erase it. Didn't work though. Because nobody can take that from me. They can go ahead and um, try to take that relationship and say it wasn't what it was. Or they can try to make it that my dad and I didn't have as good of a relationship as if I, I don't care. I know what it was. I was his daughter, and I know he loved me, and I loved him. That, yeah, we just have to re remember that when these people do this, it's because they feel insecure about the relationship that you have with that person. And somehow, if they can dim that down, bring that relationship down, all the crap that they pulled off behind the scenes, right? It, it's justified to them. It's justified. But it doesn't matter. They did not put things down the way that things were supposed to go. The way it was supposed to be. And like me, I walked away. I, I and, and I left for years. Didn't care. Hurt. I was more concerned about the relationships that got destroyed. And my kids. More so than the money. But not them. No, 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 not them. Then I'm like, alright, I'll have to go off. I'll have to start my business, side business back up and work two jobs and because I've got three kids I help take care of, you know, and lots of debt and bills, from another divorce, having to move X amount of times, different things, replace half of my stuff. Um, but then they can't stand my business. They can't stand my channel. They can't stand what I stand for. But yet we don't hang out anymore. We're not family anymore. We don't do things together anymore. You guys made it clear you don't, you don't want to, you know. I was told your lives are better with me not in it. So I honored that. I'm not going to sit and try with you guys, especially when everything supposedly I did to you guys is not, 
It's not close to being true. And all the money that I owed my mother, I paid every bit of it back. So what's your problem now? And I was always a good daughter. Loyal as hell. But that didn't seem to matter in the end. So you may have gone through a lot of these same scenarios and had these same things happen. But in the end, you're going to get justice. And like me, they just kept coming for me. It, was, it wasn't good enough that they took everything that they shouldn't have and things that weren't theirs. And they changed things and they did a bunch of illegal things to do it and got a lot of people involved. They also wanted me completely in the street, destitute, broken mentally, emotionally, people that hate me, can't stand me, and all the lies that they created people to believe them. Well, it didn't happen. And the people that did, that doesn't matter to me because they all belong together. You know, they're just all, those are bottom feeders. But it's the situations that they created, the people that they've done things with, just like you, I sense... I just sense that when you find out some of the people that came against you to harm and hurt you, it's going to be very hurtful. It's, it's going to break your heart. The things I've had to find out in stomach, it's been hard. And to not be bitter or resentful and angry at, because you're, you're looking at the situations, the people and going, are you serious? Another person? Like, and Why? Why? I never did anything to you. Like, I mean, it's like, so I sense this from you. I sense there's grief. I sense there's strife. I sense there's a part of you that's finding out things that are unbelievable to you. Yeah, look, these are karmic contracts with soulmates, family, friends. Huh? Karmic partner, too. Spirit guides, listening to your ancestors, your spirit guides. These people, are, they're all into self-sabotaging. You've released and surrendered this. And somebody wants to give you an apology, okay? But we also have, like I said, we're full circled around to this shaman. Justice, this Libra energy. Hey, buddy, I'll be done in just a minute. Here's the options, everybody they got involved in this and how it's turned. Bad, get off my table. Sky, come get her off my table. Okay, hold on. Bad, get off Yaya's table. Come on, I gotta finish up my video. Get off Yaya's table. You, if those, all right, let me move this stuff. Hold on, let me move this stuff. You're gonna crush those things. All right. All right, it's okay. You can lay up here. Up here. Just let me move these things. Under your feet, little girl. I know you're sore, huh? Rough day at work. All right. So, this is blowing up in everybody's faces. Because they went too far. Enough's enough. The Six of Cups represents, like... Family, friends, neighbors, it can be co-workers. These are people that are supposed to be, your, you're supposed to have soulmate relationships with soul ties to kindred spirits. Love. It's in the reverse. And this is seven of cups in the reverse. So now, everything's out in the open. Everything is out in the open. The seven of cups, is those are toxic options, toxic choices. Those are choices that have a boomerang effect. Those are choices that give you instant karma. Karma. Well, Eight of Swords is in reverse, though. So now, everybody's coming out of their heads. Because everybody stabbed each other in the back. And they're, they're, there's clarity coming, okay? And people are going, what have we done? Woo! What have we done? Yeah. Universe in the reverse. This is karma. More karma. More karma. More karma. Remember? These are, this was an opportunity. You guys tried to come back together again. 
you tried something again and the universe is like, no, no. What are you not listening to? No. There's a queen of wands that's involved in this and she's in big trouble. She should have pulled out a long time ago. And there, for some of you in your situations, there might be multiple queen of wands and king of wands in your family. And man, you got all these people now fighting and coming up against each other. It's not that, that that's a battle. Battle, battle, battle. So those of you that are upright, your money is going to change for you. Okay. Um, so this is all, oh gosh, all my inner I need my glasses. Hold on. All my finances are now in divine order. Love itself knows my needs and is the source for all. I needn't cling to gain or fear or loss. Every need will be met through offering all to the divine. Sanctuary. A sanctuary resides inside you no matter what is happening. This inner temple beckons you to enter, take a deep breath, enter and sit down on the throne of your heart. So we talked about going into hermit mode, remember? Okay, patience. If you've tried forever to shift a problem, there's probably something to learn from embracing it. May I let it be for now. Help me relax and trust. Every need will be met. Often change soon follows. Okay? Um, remember I talked about the, the council of light, that some of you were having visions. You went through an awakening. Things are changing in that way. Maggie, let go. Sky, are you okay? All right, I'm almost done. Council of Light. Divine orchestration. Helpers in the subtle realms. Okay? These people are working with you. They're trying to bring you downloads. They're trying to give you answers. They're trying to help you through this, okay? Sisterhood of the Rose. This is about beauty, devotion. This is you be stepping into being a high priestess, a mystic, a teacher. You got a whole sisterhood. This is awesome. <gasps> my grandmother's here. Wow. This is my dad's mom. So Anna, grandmother of Jesus. That was her name too. Seeding the light, laying foundation, divine plan. This even looks like her when she was younger. So you have a high, high calling upon your life. Lumeria, creating heaven on earth, it's happening. So go back and you have a definite connection to Lumeria, Atlantis. Okay. Lumeria was the Garden of Eden before the Garden of Eden. Nobody talks about it, but it was. Okay. So you have, you also are, um, have um, the chance. So you also you you have mother issues, serious mother issues, um, like me, with your mother. And so this is the star mother that's trying to help you heal the mother in yourself because the mother that you had that put you down or made you feel bad about yourself or um, put you in competition with her did something to you. And then they abandoned you, right? Because you wouldn't fall in line. So you're working on this and this... Star Mother is also here to help you, okay? And then you have Healing Light. This is all about you getting new beginnings. Temple of the Dreams. Sacred Dreams. Prof prophecies. Dream Journeys. This has to do with those visions, okay? Protect your dreams, though. And then we have Sacred Journey. <sighs> Introversion. Seeker self-knowledge. So, yeah, you've gone inward. This has to do with the hermit in you. Wisdom, knowledge, learning, seeking, um, new things. And as you're doing this, you're putting dots. The dots are coming together, but it's opening up things in you that never before. And then we end this with light dancer. Illumination, the radiant self-shining soul. So, Remember, you're the whoever I'm talking to here. You were when we started. You were in your North Node. You're headed on your journey. You're on your way. You're in the flow. Okay. All right. And then let's see what do we got here. 
Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. This is Arcturian energy too. Forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. And we have time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. This is about a relationship. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. This is that Libra energy again. And we have embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Ooh. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your misunderstanding. Um, your misunderstanding. Expands your understanding of life and love. There you go. That's a beautiful one, too. All right. Let's see. We got another star seed. You're, here we go again. Another high priestess. How are you being called to step up to the plate and lead? Sir, you got a serious mission here. Yep. Ah! And yes, that's where we're ending it. I said you have a serious mission here. And the next card out is yes. So have a great rest of your week, fire signs. Take good care of you guys. All right. Find some peace and give some peace to someone. Take care.